No matter how long you protest, though, we are going to remove subsidy. <laughs> that is the truth. That is the truth. Uh, unless you don't, you know, and I'm going to win this election. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, Shawari have reacted to what uh, Tinevo said. Tinevo actually made this statement when he was campaigning and said that he will remove subsidy. So it is not an accidental issue. It was what was pre-planned already. So Shawari, in reacting to what Tinevo said, said that Tinevo thought this is Lagos, that he had been doing this right from when he captured Lagos in 1990. Now let us read the comments Tinevo wrote in his own uh, Twitter, he said, when Asiwaju Bola Ahmed was bragging that he will remove subsidy, whether people protest or not, no matter how long the protest will last, he was speaking with, us, with, a certain, with a certainty driven by impunity he had practiced in Lagos since he captured Lagos in 1999. However, he forgot that so many of the recent struggles that were rooted in recent revolt across Nigeria particularly targeted his feudal lordship over Lagos. All right, so right now, I think Tenobu is beginning to eat back his words because everybody is, is against the subsidy removal. In fact, the whole process of about the subsidy removal was actually done shows a lot of, it shows a lot of negligence. It goes a long, a long way to show that Tenobu think this is Lagos where nobody can challenge him, you know. So that is where Tenobu get it all wrong. Already, the subsidy, from what we learned, is supposed to run throughout the month of June. Throughout the month of June, is supposed to be subsidized, and then from July ahead, they can talk about removing the subsidy because Buari already paid for it. And so the NLC, in reacting to what Showare had said, and also lack of negligence or neglecting the NLC, of which in the law, Tenable promised that during his inaugural speech, as he was going to follow the rule of law, but he never did that. He totally neglected the NLC and went around, went on to um, announce the uh, removal of subsidy, which is an um, impunity in itself. So now the NLC chairman have reacted to it that by Wednesday that the country is going to be grounded if Tenable does not revert back to the old price, that there's no justification in, you know, in, in increasing the fuel price, there's no justification at all. So I want you to watch the video of what the NLC chairman said, and then also um, what Falana have to say about this, and then after that, you'll drop your comments. Of the NLC, Mr. Jua Jairo briefs the media. The issue of subsidy has not been probed all these years, and for anybody to close that chapter is like covering fraud. The Nigerian Labour Congress has called the net members for us to interrogate some of these processes to know who and who we are collecting the subsidy money. The meeting goes into a closed-door session and human rights lawyer Mr. Femi Falana takes the moment to address the media outside the hall. NMPC Limited, a private company, was alleged to have fixed the prices of petroleum products or jacked up the price. It is clearly illegal. There is no provision for it under the law. So we hope that the government will have to go back to the drawing table and take the whole month, the month of June, to meet with relevant stakeholders, to plan and look for alternative solutions to the problem. And there are alternative solutions. We must learn from what other countries are doing to address this the dollarization of economy. Nigerians have been paying through their nose for petrol and for transportation amidst other economic consequences since the pronouncement by President Bola Tinubu on May the 29th that the subsidy regime for petrol is gone. But the NLC National Executive Council has taken some major decisions, including not talking to any person without a portfolio. The president briefs the media. 
Then OC decided that if by Wednesday next week that the NMPC refuses to revert itself for negotiation to continue, that the Nigerian Labour Congress and all its affiliates will withdraw their services and commence protests nationwide until this is complied with. The NLC NEC therefore directed all state councils and all industrial unions to commence mobilization from this moment to make sure that this action is enforced. All right, guys, so Tenebo brought this upon himself. He shot himself in the foot because he opposed Jonathan removal of fuel subsidy in 2012. When Jonathan had wanted removing subsidy, Tenebo gang up with the rest of the people and launched a, I mean, a, a protest against the removal of subsidy. Little did he know that one day, the same thing he opposed will be staring him in the face. Because this subsidy of a thing is actually is a scam. We know that there is a scam. Like, look at what the NMPC uh, CEO, I think, or what are the director, he came and said that, that Buari is already owing 2.8 trillion naira to NMPC without paying subsidy. That subsidy have not been paid for four years now. I think, yeah, two years. Subsidy have not been paid. So this is, and it's, it, the staggering amount you mentioned is, is shocking. Two point something trillion, and that NMPC can no longer sustain subsidy again. So right now, Nigerians are asking, where are all this money? Because the accountant general of the federation said that all this money were now remitted to the pulse or to the treasury of the nation it was never remitted it's not captured in the accounts so what is going on so Tenebo have been called upon to probe the previous regime of Bari. Bari came and everybody all thought that he was incorruptible that he was not a corrupted person but it appears as if Bari's regime was even more worse than Jonathan's own because if you, if you listen to the amount looted in NMPC Man, you will just pity this country. You will know that Nigeria is totally gone. There is no remedy and there is no solution to this country. The only solution we have this, that is available to this country is just restructuring. That's what we need. So but what do you guys think? I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you.